Picketing flight attendants greeted travelers at DIA today as employees of United and Southwest say they need better working conditions. I'm Dominic Garcia bringing you CBS 4 News at noon live on CBS 4 and CBS News Colorado. DIA just one of 11 airports where these unions picketed. Our Kennedy Cook live at the airport. So Kennedy, what are these concerns that these picketers raising? Dom, flight attendants are saying that they are fed a point blank period from sleeping on the floor in the airports because they have nowhere to go to airline technology failures, reroutes, and even some threats of pay cuts from their employers. So Southwest Airlines and the AFA took to the picket lines today to ask for more. Now, members of Southwest Airlines, TWU, Local 556 are here today, and this union is made up of nearly 18,000 plus flight attendants. Now, the collective bargaining agreement that the union has with Southwest became amendable about four years ago. So workers are saying it's time for a new one with some better benefits. Now, meanwhile, attendants from the AFA aren't here picketing for a new contract. They say it's a company culture issue like scheduling and a better work-life balance that they are fighting for. What we want to see is some respect because the pairings, the flight schedules are built by computers, but they're flown by human beings. And if a computer puts a schedule together that is maybe technically legal, but impossible for a human being to fly, that's what we're running into. This is our first informational picket. Uh, hopefully it will have to be only our only informational picket. Um, but after four years, we finally filed for mediation. Um, we are coming up on four years, I should say, of uh, contract negotiations. So we recently filed for mediation. Um, our contract negotiations have stalled. Basically, we haven't seen any meaningful progress. Now, Southwest told us that they're continuing to encourage their employees to voice their opinions and concern with the renegotiation. And United told us that they're hoping to decrease that call time between attendants and schedulers. And both crews told us that they're hoping to get all of this figured out, especially before that peak travel holiday season. Live in Denver, Kennedy Cook covering Colorado first. Kennedy, thank you. And soon